All right, so it's been quite a while since I posted that video where I said I'm making a half size Formula One car. And uh, yeah. I have to get over the laboratory, get them started building a wind tunnel. Even though the real Formula One cars are really big, you still sit really tight. Yep, I know what I'm talking about. The, the, and like this? Yes. Please get your hands up! So simply scaling it down to half size, that wouldn't work. To make sure that I would fit, we 3D scanned me in the driving position. And then Camillo redesigned the car's body around that. And the plan was to power this thing with a 1000cc Yamaha R1 motor. And the body will be made about the same way as I did the wide body Volvo. With all the stuff that I learned from that. With one little difference. And that is, when the shape is ready, I will then, with the help of a guy called Stefan, make a mold of it. And then make a new body from the mold in carbon fiber. And just like with the Volvo, it takes a lot of material to print a whole body for a car. The music should have started already. So here we have some filament from Ad North, a Swedish brand that makes filament. Critical. We got, they sent us actually a new nozzle so we can try to print the TPU. And if you don't know what TPU is, it's a flexible material that you can print. You should check out my Instagram where I make a sole for my shoe with it. It's pretty cool. Two kilos, one black and one white, nice. And rigid X, that's the one that can uh, withstand some more heat. And then the PLA for, for the shell. Yeah, these are some decent sized rolls. <laughs> 32 kilos, eight kilos each, four rolls. That should be enough for the shell, I hope. So det är alla de här delarna som hända fram As you can see, there is quite a lot to print. And for this, he used the Allego Neptune 4 Max printers. And they can print 42 by 42 by 48 centimeters at a time. And that's perfect for this. Without these big printers, it would have taken forever. But what you just saw was still a time lapse. And this is the real tempo, so you must understand that this is taking days, several days per piece. So this is weeks of printing. Huge shout outs to Camillo and Tredeskapana for taking the time to make this project happen. Ja, sant. Ja, det är, det är mycket högre upp. Ja. Mm. Det går ju liksom upp så. Så so, yeah, it's assembling time. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's put this together. Oh, I, I almost forgot. I folded the packet from who's here, Tura. I can check if we have a delivery confirmation. Hold on. Yes. Now you're till fem julen. And now you're thinking, who in their right mind orders tires before wheels? <laughs> well, the wheels are on order, but they're custom made and takes a little longer. I can be perfect at it. Kolla. Nice. I come a dock. My love will set up Pirelli. 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 Set up Pirelli.
Storleken känns jävligt bra. Jag tror det i alla fall. And here you can see I already started using the filler and then it's time to sand. Use filler and sand again. <laughs> it's a long process. These pieces right here was a little harder to fit. That's why I had to use these clamps. I've seen people online weld these pieces together using soldering irons but I find this method a lot faster and yeah I like this better You can see that it's pretty rough, like everywhere that I've put filler. And here's where I've uh, sanded. This is just the first uh, step. You can see that I need to use more filler here. But yeah, it's a big improvement. The Neon Company, once again, came through. I've been looking forward to this one. It's a bit early, to be honest. The car isn't even close to done. But this is some inspirational stuff. Yeah, you need some of that too. Let's see. This is promising. Let's see, here's the remote and the accessories. Here it comes. Hold your horses. Can I hold your horse? Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is when I get my copyright notification from Aston Martin. <laughs> yeah, you can already see it. Okay, let's see. Yes, sir. Here it is. <laughs> this is amazing. Look at this. So sick. <laughs> Just wait till it lights up. Damn. Alright, so here's the dimmer. We don't have to use that now, I think. Yeah, we probably do. Right. Now let's see. Something like this. Damn. <laughs> this looks crazy, man. Yeah, look at this. What a beauty, man. The original plan was to stick the Yamaha R1 motor in it that I already have, but then I got contacted by a Polish guy that had an accident with his R6 that actually put him in a coma and he had to learn how to walk again and talk again and terrible story. Basically he didn't want anything to do with that bike again so he wanted to give it to me to turn it into something cooler. 
and uh, I can't tell you how grateful I am for that. Yeah, so that motor is both lighter, smaller, and it revs a lot higher. So I think that'll fit better for the Formula One project. English, please. We're picking this bike up in a, a place called Lillehädet. Of a Swedish tittare is Lillehädet synonym for one thing. I wanted to meet the rapper, so I reached out to him on the way down, but it was very last minute. He said that he wanted to meet, but one of his kids was sick. He actually wrote now. Hi, I hope the trip is going well. The bike is ready. Has some pictures of how it looks now. You see, he removed the uh, fairings and stuff uh, after the crash, and so it looks like uh, looks like this now. It doesn't look too bad. Like, not that it matters. I probably only used the drivetrain, but still, it it's looking good. I think it doesn't look like it's been in in a serious accident. <laughs> I started to get more nervous by the minute because either this is a really good guy or it's a scam. Somebody trying to make me go really far just to piss me off. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta have some faith in people. And this guy was Polish. Some of my best friends are Polish. So that was a good sign. So, yeah, about tea, you don't the car. It's just 10 minutes until we're there. Yeah, I'm gonna text him now. And Finally, R6, free R6. It turned out that the guy was super nice. I can't say that enough. Is it inside? Like that. Uh, nice. Not sure, we have nice. also the dog. Uh... Legging with the heavy breathing. <sighs> yes. That was one of the Ah, the band, yeah. It's just going to be like a game thing. Nej. Har du skjutskor på dig? Nej. Har du spänt fast den? Vad ja. <laughs> Sådär ja. Det är kul till det händer något. Det är inte lika kul längre. Det är inte mig. Så det är pretty much how it's gonna look. Ja, yeah, it's missing the, the wing. But yeah, it's coming along pretty good. I'd say. Kind of hard to tell the size now because I'm filming this with really wide angle so yeah it's basically half the size of a real one and the real one is almost six meters and this is three I'm super excited there's still a lot of stuff to do and this is uh, yeah this is just the tires 
Uh, I have actually the rims on order from the UK and they will arrive uh, in a couple of weeks. And I also have the limited slip diff ordered from Germany. But first, we really need to get the, the shape of the body done. And uh, for that, I just got this. This is a guide coat. It's like a black powder that I, I'll put on the, on the surface. And then when sanding, you can easily tell the, the low tops, the low spots. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get this body like really as good as possible. And then I'm going to call Stefan and uh, we're going to make a mold out of it. And then we'll turn it into a carbon body. Yeah. I'm so excited. And here's the bike. The wrecked bike. Such a crazy thing. Pretty cool though to make something terrible into something cool. Like this is gonna turn out a cool story for the for the bike's life. But this is quite a lot smaller than the R1 motor, I'd say. So we're gonna fit it in there. And uh, it might look like it doesn't fit. <laughs> But I've, uh, yeah, we did the measurements before, so it should be good. <laughs> this is, yeah, by far the most complicated and ambitious project that I've put myself into this far. Uh, and I have big hopes for it. So may God keep me alive until this project is done. I can't wait till... Uh, till we have the body and we can start manufacturing the, the chassis. Smell though, smell a little, smell, smell. Yeah! Oh, 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 oh! Come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on!